Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use XML table in SQL to convert XML data into rows and columns. We'll start by creating a table to hold the XML data. Notice the table has got a column called XML data, which is of type XML type. We populate the table with a single XML document made up of employee records from the EMP table. We can display the data in the table by converting the XML type column to a club. We can see the XML document contains a list of employees. There's a separate tag for each piece of information about an employee. We effectively make a Cartesian product between our data table and XML table. This allows XML table to turn one single document into multiple rows. We identify the table column as the source of the data using the passing clause. The rows in the data are identified using this xQuery expression. We project columns over each XML fragment using the Columns clause, where we specify the column name, data type, and the path to the data. Notice we're querying using the XML table alias. The data produced by the query just looks like conventional rows and columns. XML table can also work with attribute based XML. We'll repopulate the table again, but this time use XML attributes instead of XML forest. Querying the table again, we can see the data is now attribute based rather than tag based. The only difference between this and the last XML table query we performed is the presence of the at symbols which indicate these are attributes not tags. Once again the XML document has been split and presented as rows and columns. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box, like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Whenever you're ready. Um, dot com. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> dot com. Oh, you've ruined it. Come on. One, one more without the chorus line, please. Dot com. So, uh, dot com. Uh, dot com.